Born in the crucible of apartheid South Africa, cradle for Christian preparation in the parsonage, the destiny of Wilfred Jacobus Messiah was planned, purposed, and ordained from on high. Educated in the private and public schools of the Western Cape Providence of South Africa, Wilfred very early proved to be an outstanding student. He graduated from Belleville South High in Belleville, South Africa. His involvement as a political activist in the 1976 political upheaval caused him to leave South Africa and in 1979 enrolled in Wilberforce University with the assistance of the late Bishop Donald George Kenneth Ming and Bishop Vinton Randolph Anderson. At Wilberforce University, he became the first African student to become the president of the Student Government Association in the history of the school and graduated in 1982 magna cum laude with a BA degree in free theology. He attended Payne Theological Seminary and earned an MDiv degree and a DMIN degree from Pittsburgh Theological Seminary. During the Ohio Annual Conference in 1979 held in Columbus, he was ordained itinerant deacon by Bishop Vinton Randolph Anderson. In 1981, he was ordained itinerant elder by the late Bishop John E. Hunter. He spent 23 years in pastoral ministry in the Third Episcopal District where his footsteps are still evident. In 1997, he returned to South Africa to assume the responsibilities as president of R. R. Wright Theological Seminary and pastor of Moki Memorial Church in Pineville, Soweto. The 47th Quadrennial of the General Conference of the AME Church elected Bishop Wilfred Jacobus Messiah on the first ballot, the 120th Bishop 
of the church on July 5, 2004 in Indianapolis, Indiana, and he was consecrated July 6, 2004 in a class of eight bishops. Bishop Messiah was assigned to the newly created 20th Episcopal District of the AME Church comprising the countries of Zimbabwe, Malawi, Tanzania, and Uganda. From the time Bishop Messiah arrived in the 20th district in August 2004, he set out to assess the needs of the district. During his first post-conference planning meeting in Harare, Zimbabwe, he assembled the district for a 2020 vision conference that identified the following areas of ministry for the development of the district. 1. Stewardship and Tithing the first series of annual conferences, institutes, and Bible studies were devoted to the teaching of stewardship and tithing. Consequently, the district voted to become the tenuous tithing 20th Episcopal District. 2. Church Growth and Evangelism Two successful crusades were held in the district during which pastors, laypersons, and youth received instruction in the evangelism process. As a result, the Holy Week Crusade in Zimbabwe yielded 587 souls for the kingdom and the Come Home for Christmas Crusade in Malawi, 182 members. To God be the glory. 3. Education. The 20th District has few formally educated pastors. At present, Bishop Messiah has 24 clergy persons in various stages of educational pursuits from elementary through theological schools. In addition, he assists 31 females and 8 male students in obtaining secular educations. These scholarships are provided by Bishop and Mrs. Carol Messiah personally. During November 26 to December 2, 2007, they have planned an education summit in Malawi to focus attention on the plight of the 48 schools in Malawi owned and operated by the African Methodist Episcopal Church. 4. Social, Economic, and Infrastructure Development The 20th District does not have an Episcopal residence or Episcopal headquarters. On February 24, 2006, Bishop Messiah and the 20th District held a groundbreaking service for the proposed headquarters and convention center where the Vice President of Zimbabwe, the Honorable George Morari, was the keynote speaker. This facility will provide housing for the resident bishop. Very few congregations have church facilities and a foundation was laid for several church structures to be built. Bishop Messiah has raised funds throughout the church and purchased a brick-making machine for the district to the tune of $30,000. There are five churches under construction, three in Zimbabwe and two in Malawi. Bishop Messiah has identified an area in Zimbabwe where there is no medical facility for a 60 mile radius and he has embarked on planning and constructing a medical facility in the area. During August 2007, the medical facility planning team is coming to Zimbabwe to begin their work. My experience on both continents put me in the strategic role of narrowing the divide between the people, culture, language, religious practices, and governments. Hence, I have selected as a theme for this investiture, anointed to serve, that the church may be one. I still believe the future of the African Methodist Episcopal Church lies in Africa. The work is all divine. Pray for me as I seek to serve and give leadership to the church. God bless the African Methodist Episcopal Church and I trust that you all will enjoy this evening. <laughs>